close my eyes, and just get myself into a state where there's nothing around me. in there and you hear all those guys going crazy and the fans screaming and uh, it's it's you know some it's unlike anything you've ever been to before if you've never been there because I tell I tell people all the time if you haven't been to the cage then you really hadn't experienced you know any, you know the Arnold so it's it's I to me I tell people it's like the number one thing at the Arnold you know it's not just you know half naked chicks and fluff and shit it's you know the real guys looking real weight and there's a lot of good people. You see in guys lift over three times their body weight, which is incredible. I had another guy, he was, you know, benching 620 pounds at 275 pound body weight. Just uh, incredible lifts. So you can come to the animal cage and see these incredible things and feats, which they're going on one after another. It's just one of those things that's very prestigious as far as getting that invite. So many people want to get that invite, so many people want to work with animal, and only a select few get to, so it's something everybody's working towards, and it means a lot within the sport. You feel like you're a part of something huge when you get that invite to be in the cage and be a part of this awesome weekend. One of the guys I've been watching a lot is uh, Pete Rubish, and I've been watching him for a while, and I've seen the last like year or two, his, his training has like really taken off, and he's been awesome on the platform, and he's been uh, progressing a lot, which is, which is good to see. It's like a, a maturity level as a, a lifter to not just kind of continue to do what you're good at, but to really, he's really like, you know, analyzing what he's needing to work on and get better at. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Rubish's lift. Rubish has a huge cult following. That guy will take it from fucking level five to like level 15, you know, and I love watching how uh, Rubish gets prepared for a lift. He's really like one of the top guys right now, but I think we all still know that deadlifting is his the event that he's known for so it's going to be fun to watch him whatever he wants to do i don't know if he's doing a certain weight for reps i think i've seen two different ideas proposed but whatever he does i'm sure it'll be a awesome time and, and the fans like obviously like watching pete originally i planned on doing 660 for 15 reps i wanted to increase the challenge because we decide on these things like two months out what we're planning to do in the cage and obviously as the cage gets closer, plans kind of change. So I decided I wanted to do 735 for 10. And then when I got here on Friday, Mikhail Kokolov, he showed up and he basically told me at some point he wants to deadlift against me. And I just thought to myself, what better time to do it than on Saturday when I'm lifting. And I know he's coming off a tricep tear. He wasn't gonna push himself. It wasn't really like we were uh, going against each other, but just having him there, something I'll never forget. It's not often that you get to be around a legend like that and just made me step my game up. For the lift and especially in an environment like the cage, I try to mimic my own training back home as much as possible. So I had my earbuds in to basically block out the noise so I can't hear people. Um, almost as like a distraction, like if I'm hearing people yell things at me and stuff. So I try to focus as much as possible. And that's a lot different from in the past when I would try to like get as angry as I could and get all amped up. Now it's like I try to calm myself. I try to focus deep breaths, close my eyes, and just get myself into a state where there's nothing around me. I block it all out. It's just me and that bar in front of me. And I know what the goal is and I set up to do that. And no matter what gets thrown at me, I'm always in that same state. So it's just like a state of mind that you always turn to when you have a big lift coming up. It's something I can be consistent with.
the eighth rep, I basically know that this is all I got. Like, this is gonna be it. It's gonna be a matter of if I can get this up or not. And I'm thinking about how, you know, tired I am and how heavy this feels, but I know I have to try it. I wanna go to absolute failure. I don't wanna leave anything back. No second guessing as far as if I could have done more reps. So that's what's going on, and I just know I'm gonna give it my best effort, try to catch my air, and uh, I just don't want to leave anything on the table. That's really it. So it's like going to failure when I know for sure that's all I could have done. Today I'm not too upset, but I would have liked to do better. And that was a pretty cool moment when Mikel lifted my arm up. And it's just a show of sportsmanship. But it was a really good day, just not quite what I would have hoped I could hit. It's still the most I've ever done beltless. Live in the moment, so to speak, enjoy it. Try to take it all in and do the best you can when you have the opportunity, because it might not always be there.